Hello, hello, ladies and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Man, I almost forgot what to say. <laughs> I mean, I should know it by now because I've been doing this quite a few times already. All right, uh, not benchmark yet. Okay, yeah, I guess I ended up not finishing. That doesn't happen too often. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, we got some more stuff to do. I guess I could do these two. That, that's going to go pretty damn fast. All right. So this one is upgrade 8 gigs. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would have been something. 8 gigs of storage. Ah, yeah. I think they would have had my head for that. Alright, I think I only need to remove the back here though. Okay, so we got the two. Four terabyte drives. Lots of places for storage here though, I like that. And the locking mechanism. Pretty cool. You do have an SSD in there. Lock that too. Well. Actually, it looks like something I would have done. Looks like it is the braided cables, so... Uh, Uh, no, that actually looks darker. I don't like that. Uh, so I'm going to get ourselves the uh, plastic. Yep, that's the one. All right, cool. Like it. And done. I mean, this will have no effect on the rest of your stuff, so... Really? All I need to make sure is that it's booting, and I'm quite sure it will. I definitely did this one. Alright, well then it's already overclocked and all that so no worries five thousand four hundred and five right because it's a 1060 there I was like why it's so low <laughs> yeah that makes a whole lot of sense all right let's collect for that one I really love the new PC. I do not. I would have liked it more if I had the 2060 or 1070 in there, but... You wanted to have that high frequency. Oh. Damn it, I forgot about the deep cool stuff. Man, that stinks. Alright. There you go. Wow. Wow. I had unlocked quite a few power supplies. And Gen 4 NVMe SSDs. Ooh, like it. Uh, right, so. Uh, yeah, that's junk. Alright, so we got this one. Uh, where is the motherboard and the hard drive? Gotcha. Oh god, that is filthy. Disgusting. Alright, um... Well, it is a motherboard replacement, so I need to remove every single thing in here. Ow. Really? Have it over there? All right, here we go. 
removing the motherboard. And we also need to remove your hard drive. Wow, we more or less emptied this whole thing. All right. Seriously though, just take out the power supply and you could probably clean this with the uh, isopropyl if you wanted to. I will make it like so shining clean. Like there wouldn't be any filth. Probably should do that at some point. Honestly, I haven't done that to my my own PC. I take everything out and do like a really, really deep clean. I usually just push out the dust. I guess that is how most of us do it. I mean, taking out all the parts is kind of a pain. It isn't fun. It's fun taking out uh, the parts and you're gonna upgrade them. That is fun. But taking them all out and putting the same parts back in again? Nah, really. Alright, I'm gonna put your parts back in here now, though. I see a piece of RAM. And you're... Hold up. I kind of want to see what did I get for you. Yeah, I got you a M.2 from AD256. Good thing I remember to check that. Because that one is going to hide under the graphics card. And might as well uh, put it in the hard drive now while I have it open. Alright, cool. Like it. Alright, let's put the rest of your parts back in. Alright, question now though. Did you have any specifics for me? Mm, I was thinking about the cables, but it doesn't seem like you do. And your case seemed to be, I would say, cyan or maybe a dark cyan. Do I have cyan cables? I do. How about the braided ones? They usually look a little darker. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's try the plastic ones too. Okay, I think I prefer the plastic ones. Talk about being a snob, right? <laughs> uh, let me have a little bit of fun here at least. All right. Yeah, and 20 bucks remaining from all that. Cool. Okay, doesn't seem like there are any fans. So let's connect that one up, and this one was over here for some weird reason, going through the RAM. <laughs> Alright, we have replaced your stuff. And we are ready to put her back together and get her running. I like the new cables we put in though, really goes with the theme. Oh, right, um... 
also need this because we are gonna boot you off of that brand new M.2 SSD. You're gonna feel the speed. <laughs> All right. Um, wonder if I can get like a hundred megahertz out of this though. thing is that the uh, Threadrippers tend to go from 0 to 100 pretty quick when it comes to heat, when you overclock. That's the experience I've had. So, let's see. Let's just have a little bit of fun with it. All right, oh, we got a quite a lot louder. It is a 12 core though, so it shouldn't be too bad. Well, we are throttling though. God damn it. <laughs> All right, well. We just need to take it down a notch. No biggie. I mean, no one died because of it. I guess that's a thing too, though. The heat drops down kind of quickly from us just taking it down a notch. Let's see, this might just be good. Yeah, 84. Well, 85. Still, that's good. I like it. Oh yeah, what kind of power supply did you have? 750, alright, I think we should be pretty darn good with that. Those are usually good for most things. Oh, this is a Radian. Uh, I'm gonna try with 150. Yeah, thought as much. I don't know why, but I don't seem to like overclocking. Could be that they're just clocked as far as they can go. Oh, well, kinda. Alright, uh, let's see. Can I get you up to like 25? Okay, good. 30? Yeah, still good. 35. 40. Alright, well, we know 50 was too much for you to handle. Well. <laughs> was that like 41? Yeah. All right, so I want to put you. I want to put you into a cyan color. Uh, let's just have a little bit of look at it. Oh my god, that looks so good! I love it. Yes. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed that the ASUS logo ain't shining up though. I would have loved to see that in. A cyan color would have been so freaking cool. All right, um, uh, run the score, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought Threadripper would have been more of a workhorse. I mean, I guess it's because it's a lot of cores, but still. I mean, they're good for core, core work. <laughs> work that requires a lot of cores. Guess those would be pretty good for like virtual machines and stuff, right? Oh man, that is shocking. Ooh, I almost feel bad about this.
But yet I know it ain't my fault. I mean, I, the GPU in there ain't really the best. What kind of score did you have before though? 4,406. All right, I'm kind of intrigued to see what we will get though. All right, so 4,406. Can we beat it? <laughs> of course we can. Can't get lower than that. Well, we improved it by almost 150. All right, let's send you up to. They put in a working motherboard and they even cleaned it. Well, we couldn't really work with all the filth, so uh, you, you didn't really give us uh, much of a choice. And besides that, I would never send a filthy PC to someone. That goes against my morals. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna end up this episode here. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!